Hello, so in this lab, I'll show you how to create a Azure DevOps release pipeline. So in one of the previous lab, we saw how to uh, basically create a build pipeline where we can build an ASP.NET application or could be a Java application, right? Now, let's say once our application is built, is tested successfully, we want to deploy the application. Okay, so how do I deploy the application to various environment? It could be VM, it could be app service, it could be uh, Azure function, right? It could be any compute service where you want to deploy your application. So for doing that, you can use release pipelines. And in this video, I'll show you a release pipeline which deploys the application to app service. I've already created an app service, right, which has the runtime as ASP.NET 3.1. I would be deploying my application so I'll click on new pipeline and I'll call it as uh, or I can call it as anything. It is asking me what are you trying to do. So I'm trying to deploy my application and app service. So I'll select this template. I'll click on apply. Call the stage as uh, let's say broad deployment. I'll say done. Now, when will this uh, deployment trigger? Okay, so for that, I'll click on add artifact or from what, what needs to be deployed. For that, I'll click on add artifact and my artifact is, let's say, saved inside Azure uh, DevOps pipeline storage. Okay, so I'll select my uh, source or my build artifact is kept inside this Azure DevOps pipeline, which is a web app and I'll click on add. And for continuous deployment, I can click on this and I can enable this trigger. So as soon as the build is completed, automatically the deployment pipeline will get triggered. I'll name this pipeline as the application deployment. So it will deploy the web application. Okay. And now I need to click click over here and configure the deployment task. I'll click on task. It will ask me to Select an Azure subscription since we are deploying it to Azure App Service. So I'll click on this and I'll click on my subscription. For those of you who are doing it for the first time, it will ask you to log in as well. So get a login option over here. You don't have the login option because I already have uh, connected my Azure subscription with Azure DevOps. Where I'm deploying, I'm deploying it on App Service, which is running on Windows based operating system. Then I finally need to select the App Service name. So I've already created an app service in Azure environment. So I'll click on this, like this. That's the job for me. I'll save the, uh, I'll save this pipeline. Now, as soon as the developer do any changes, right inside the code. So this is my code. As soon as I do changes and publish this changes to Azure repos, the build pipeline will trigger. Build pipeline once the build is completed, deployment pipeline. So let's do the Changes. Let's say changes is just putting in simple exclamation mark over here. If you put two, three exclamation marks. Now let's commit these changes. I'll say git add. I'll say git commit hyphen. Uh, or I might need to do a git uh, pull first. So let me do a git pull first from origin. This. Okay. I can say Hit add, say hit commit. Commit message is added some animations. And finally, I'll say hit push origin master. And this code is pushed to my Azure repo. And this should trigger the Azure pipeline for building the application. I already started the build of my application. You can see the commit name added some exclamation. Okay, it is building my application. And once the build is completed, it will also trigger the deployment. Wait for the application build to happen. So the build of the application is completed. It is finalizing the job now. Now this should basically trigger the release as well. So if I go to release, okay, here you can see just right now, and a release has started. So this is the deployment. So it is will basically it has already queued the deployment broad deployment stage. If I click on this, 
you can see again it is waiting for an agent to be spinned up that agent will start the deployment so let's wait for the agent to get spinned up then we are so it is getting the artifact from the drop location of my azure uh, build pipeline So this downloads the artifact and now it will basically try to deploy the artifact on the app service it has started the deployment as well as you can see so the app is deployed successfully if i go to my app service if I click on the URL of this app service, this I should see my application. Here we are. Welcome to Web Magic with some estimation. So this is how you can create an Azure DevOps release pipeline. This is it for this lab.